it's your boy Double Up, and I'm back with another <coughs> banger. And today, I got to get into this big three conversation with uh, Adam22, Joe Button, and DJ Academics, you feel me? So, uh, D, uh, Adam22 supposedly went off on uh, Joe Button, because, you know, Joe Button stated who he liked. You get what I'm saying? But before we start this video, I need you to like, comment, subscribe. And other than that, if you got something you want me to review, let me know. Drop it in the comments. But let's get right into it. Thing as a hip hop media big three. Moreover, he channeled Rick Ross Drake disses by calling Adam a white boy. Alrighty, let's watch this. Everybody got headphones? Perk head mother. Somebody sent me a clip of Joe Budden claiming that No Jumper is doing real bad in terms of our views and everything. So let's do the science. Joe Budden's channel has got 12 million views in the past month. No Jumper's main channel plus our Clips channel has done about 26, 27 million views for the past month. So we are two times by far what you have going on. And on top of that, we kill it on Facebook. We kill it on Snapchat. We have 3 million followers on Instagram, and we make a huge amount of money on there. Joe Budden, I don't want to hear shit. You're running a chop shop. You might have the whole hip-hop media gassed into thinking that you're really killing it like that, but trust me, when you want to talk about who's really doing business out here, it's not you. There's a big three, and you're not in it. It's me, Vlad, and that fat motherfucker you were sitting. <laughs> hey, bro. That fat dude that he was referring to, and he's talking about DJ Academics. Uh, me personally, I don't care for Adam22. He got a big podcast. Yes, he do. But that's only because it be drama. But let's get back into it. Bro, it, this podcast war is absolutely <laughs> insane. Podcast is beefing with each other is nuts. It's like the new gang, huh? <laughs> this is nuts. Nigga. <laughs> the new rapper? Absolutely nuts. Y'all put in Vlad. I don't mean to keep pausing it, but why is he, why is uh Almighty Suspect Eating noodles. <laughs> I thought y'all get money over there at No Jumper. You eat noodles? Really? Really? Let's get back to it. In that big three? Um, that's that's what I just what I, I was lie. thinking. Yesterday when they that's asked what I was me, thinking. I said unbiasedly, you feel me? If I work here, nah, I'm good. I said that I personally think it's drink champs because mm -hmm. that's hip hop. We're not talking about just like bullshit. we're not talking about you know like. That doesn't pertain to rap or hip hop. You feel me? He said hip hop media, not street media, not you know what I'm saying, not mess, not bullshit. He said hip hop media. We do a lot more than hip hop media. We do, we do a lot more. You know what I'm saying? So I say drink champs. Okay. Um, you feel me? You gotta go drink champ. Million dollars worth of game. Okay. Facts. Shout out to Wallow and Gilly, my and boys. I said Sean Cotton. Facts. Okay. Shout out to Say Cheese. I love Sean Cotton. Dallas. <laughs> This is the first time I ever agree with Almighty Suspect, but I agree with that. How you guys feel? Drop it in the comments. Let's get back to it. Sexist, baby. Yeah, that's my... Yeah, no jumpers not in your top nice. three. That's really not nice. hip-hop, no. For like that's street, nice. street that's TV nice. and like street media and shit like that, hell yeah, we in there. We probably the top. If, if you're talking about just pure entertainment, just, you know mm. what I'm saying? We're probably the top, nigga. This is real mm -hmm. world TV here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, if you pay attention to the No Jumper universe, me alone, I got like six beefs in the, <laughs> in the two years I've been here. Me alone. Getting six beefs off a podcast is crazy. But let's get back into it. On like five, six. Everybody else, nigga, is probably like 20. Like, nigga, it's like a whole world of just, I call this shit Big Brother. Yeah. You feel me? This like big brother nigga this shit is the real world so if we just talking about just entertainment this is the top but hip-hop eh, i'm not gonna act like it is just because i work here eh. you feel i mean me? i do hip-hop interviews but people, you know what i'm saying the majority no, no, of was, here is not hip-hop orientated we do a lot of hip-hop but i don't think that you know what i'm saying not that, that's just my personal opinion. before it was more hip-hop huh I do think that the viewers look at No Jumper as a hip hop. Yeah, one 100%. of the hip hop big views, big threes, definitely. I mean, the No Jumper is constantly breaking the stories. You always gonna see No Jumper has a thing about going viral, you know. So it's not about just being the. No Jumper go viral because it be on bull crap every time. But let's get back into it. The hip hop community. It's also being able to market in the hip hop community and stay relevant. You know what I'm saying? I think No Jumper does well with that. I would definitely say million dollars worth of game too. 
because we're a million dollars worth of games. Shout out to my old people at Barstool, you know, Gilly and Waller are amazing people, and they definitely get the big people, and they really break it down as a science and do great interviews. So right. million dollars worth of game. Say Cheese is my first interview ever in 2014. Mm. So shout out to Sean Cotton it's for just staying con staying consistent. Yeah, Sean, Sean is a Sean is a real one. And OG, he's huh? ahead of the game. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So he sees before people see it. So I would say Say Cheese too. Nah, Vlad right Vlad is the feds. So like it's like I don't know he's in the media but then he's kind of the fed so I don't know if he's supposed to respect it it's kind of like the everybody keep well I ain't gonna say everybody she's saying that Vlad the feds one thing I know Boosie not finna go on his platform if he been the feds because Boosie a real one he ain't doing that but let's get back into it Patriots or some hold on how you guys feel do you think Vlad the feds like talk to me do you think he the feds like seriously. Let's get back into it. Like, I don't know. Like, you respect it or no. or you don't. You already kind of established. And it's like, you know, we 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 shot out the people that's, that's on the on the come up, on the you struggle, know? on the grind. You know what I'm saying? Drink Champs is amazing because how they get everybody drunk. Man. Cheers. And it, and it rap, you know? And it be rap get prime rap stories. You know that don't know about. Like, you know? people hated the Kodak interview. I thought it was actually very enlightening, you know? I think that it's cool that people come on there and really bare their souls, you know what I'm saying? Kanye West, everyone comes on there and really tells their story. You know, mm -hmm. I would even say, um, I really love Beats' interview. The Forget what she talking about, because she, uh, she trash. Anyway, who is this new girl they got with the yeeks out? She got the yeeks out, you feel me? You know what I'm saying? You, that little slit dress doing it with them lips. <laughs> Let's get back into it. The Apple Beats interviews mm. that they have. I, I know what I'm talking about. Um, the Apple done? Music interviews with the, with the guy, with the head of Apple. And he be doing them. He that. did one with Kanye. that went viral a little while back. Yeah, I think that they, they, get, they get into it too. I like their shit. I'm familiar. Yeah, but you feel, if we talking about entertainment, I'm going to give us number one. But just yeah. hip-hop. I don't think it, I didn't name you didn't put academics see, in I didn't there. Name any you didn't put academics yeah, in there though. He didn't, he didn't, he didn't, he didn't put, I didn't put that. I mean, no, but academics, academics only, is a, but he does break news and people will listen to him and watch him. Yeah, but I can't stand on at that. The same he gets breaks up academics and I fuck with what he do yeah. and, and he fuck with me. But I'm gonna just say like you feel me. The, my my first time hearing about academics was was the Chicago uh, gang wars mm -hmm. and shit. It wasn't so much the rap. Definitely. He giving niggas nicknames. He yeah, giving assassins definitely. nicknames, yeah, murderers. Definitely. You know what I'm saying? Definitely. So it's it's not hip hop so yeah. much, you know? Yeah. So like, so like, you know what I'm saying? I don't just, I ain't gonna give it but to you. But now he's hip hop though. But me, my, my personal opinion, I give it to Drink Chance. Man, yeah. I brought the game and said cheese. Yeah. Cause they Cause try it's to not focus on so It's not, it's not so you know? biased. It's not so insulting. Who your top three when it comes to podcasts? I can agree with Suspect. It, Almighty Suspect is a Paul's name, first of all. Let's start there. You feel me? Shout out to uh, uh, BJ Main. But that's a Paul's name. But who your top three? Let's get back into it. If, you know, it's not so so and put down it. All them other, like, you know what I'm saying? And I guess you got to give Joe Budden something, you know what I'm saying? But he's just not in my top three at all. I don't watch him, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. But... I just feel like we do a lot of interviews that's not rap, and, and academics do a lot of that's just bull too. Yeah, right? a lot. You feel me? Yeah. That, that is just, a, a, I don't mean the content is bull I mean, yeah. so more so like the, the content of what we're doing is we talking about bull that's yeah. going on, you know? Yeah, and not just the hip hop aspect. I mean, that's just my opinion, though. Yeah. What you think? Some of you media niggas been trying to force a beef slash relationship with me for years now. I'm too at peace for the contrived hoots and nanny. Really, Joe? And, <laughs> and my God is too good to, for me to pretend like he isn't. Please don't let me be a distraction to your plans. With a little bit more focus, you can maybe lose even more. I hate when that, that was the lamest. What the, what the <laughs> fuck did that even mean? Dude, what did that mean? Like, did you randomly <laughs> throw God in there? Hate Don't to break God. it to your buddy. He's talking about a white boy, but he's saying all this white boy slang. Like, <laughs> what? How you gonna call him a white boy? But you saying hate to break it to your buddy. That's number one white boy slang. Yeah, Don't sure. call him a white boy and then take his take the white boy slang. Yeah, nigga ain't never told me hate to break it to <laughs> your buddy. Hate to break it to your buddy. Talking about it there, nigga. But there, there's never a hip hop media big three and capitalize that H in hip hop when you speak about it, white boy. What is the H huh. for? I don't understand. I don't know. I guess because he didn't capitalize hip hop. Oh, I don't. <laughs> like it's God. Like it's God. He said he didn't capitalize the H. I ain't never been a fan of Joe Budden. I ain't gonna act like I have. 
Again, pump it up. That was trash, kind of a nigga. weak response. I'm not gonna lie. Like, come at Joe like you be coming at th- come at Adam like you be coming at these bitches, Joe. You know how you be going for the juggler, how you be going for the neck? Come from cause just saying white boy, we know Adam's white. Like that's the oldest <laughs> that's the oldest joke in the book. Ha ha ha. Come with a little bit sort of something. Say like, you know what I'm saying? It, hey, I, like drop a DM from Lena or something. Like f- up. Do something entertaining. Cause this right here is not really entertaining not it's it. kind of given that you're like a little scared of the white boy joe i'm just saying I mean, what is this how do that's how vlad looks hell yeah you know what Vlad looks like oh my God. he just looks like, like a fan huh? he looks like a, a fan huh? how you how you in the media like atmosphere and you don't even know what vlad look like like what then like what like Crazy. 50-year-old Jewish He's man. He's a... He, he, 50. 50-year-old 50? Jewish man. Oh, wow. He looked like a 50-year-old Jewish man. Wow. That nigga look like he sell Cartier's. I'm done. In <laughs> the mall. In the mall. Like in the mall. Sell Cartier's in the mall. In the mall. No cap. That nigga. Got the full Gucci on. Look like he sell buffs, nigga. <laughs> I swear to God, like he sell buffs. That's, that's, a, that's a prime example that all that name brand will make you fly. Yeah, because he look like a... <laughs> She said all that, but look what she got on. Like, what do you have on? Like, cowgirl, howdy, howdy. Look in the, boy, look at her. Let's get back into it. Oh, oh, oh. $10,000 worth of corn. Right there, cause that's whole shit. outfit, $10,000 worth of corn. Looking like, corn looking like it's counterfeit. Corn looking ball. like he got it from sauce and swap meat. Corn ball. Oh, we going a little Damn. too hard right now. <laughs> you saying, he look crazy. <laughs> That's, that's the, right, Vlad. Okay, that's I, the big fool. I see fool. you got that shit on, Vlad. So the academics respond to this? Okay, what did he say? Two things. Two things. <laughs> I do think Adam is right. And now let me give him the things he's right about. I think when it comes to hip-hop media platforms, I do think it's him, me, and um, Vlad. Wow. And, 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 and we have to define platforms because, you know, they give out this award every year. Where they're like, yo, this, you know, they'll be like, creation now a platform. And yes, it technically is a platform. And anything is a platform, Carisha technically, now. right? Except they put out a podcast once every two months. They're not really affecting the day-to-day happenings and the ebbs and flows and the news and mm-hmm. the happenings really within the... And I'm just going to say this. Carisha, please, she got a straight little podcast. But we all know she got that because of Diddy. No Diddy culture mm-hmm. consistently and also they don't have but Vlad part of their platform that is even built in to help the progression and and dissemination of music news or hmm. music news or whatever that's why like akari should please as a podcast i wouldn't consider uh, unless it was like a Joe Rogan he type of situation, like but which is not. Just not because that's the one who got the award. Yeah, they but gave the award, so they that's did. The, that, and that was bullshit. Come on. They, was I know bullshit. we doing this. We love the women shit. No, I'm and y'all just stick saying, together like, and shit. That's bullshit. To, why he had to compare to a girl? Why, there's a lot of males. She got the, she got the shit. But that, we're not talking about awards right now. We're He's talking, talking about, about the best, the big. Okay. You feel okay. me? Like, okay. we're not going to do that. Because <laughs> it's not my friend either, but I'm going to keep it in that for you Carisha, know? please. I think that that's you, the most industry plant shit that, that ever bullshit. could have happened. You feel like, me? what? They gave no, her the award? Crazy. Come on now. Well, did he bought it? She did four funny ass interviews. Like, yes, the interviews are hella entertaining and, and they Wait, funny. Which ones? I'm wondering which ones. Um, she, she did the Drake on. G Herbo was funny that as hell. That was hilarious. That was, he was drunk. Um, so that was What was the other one she did? She, she did, did a Drake too. That was funny as fuck. No, she didn't do no Drake. Hell no. The hell? Oh, got the, yeah. He in the back. He don't even know what's going on. He always drunk, man. I don't like Buddy, man. Comparator, whatever his name is. He always drunk. How you come to work drunk, my boy? Not yeah, the white girl. girl. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, he could have brought that up. That would have been... Because nah, she, she's she more of a plant than Carisha is. She ain't win no trophy, though. She didn't. You That's feel a me? Fact. That's I a get fact. it. She That's won a, a trophy, and it's like... Yeah. I wouldn't mention her if she didn't win no trophy, either because yeah. her shit entertaining. Yeah. But once you give a bitch a trophy, it's like, all right, bro. All right. Now y'all you're doing too much. Like- all right, that's the end of that, man. I hope you enjoyed it, man. If you like the uh, content, like, comment, subscribe. Like I said before, if you have anything you want me to react to, just drop it in the comments, man. And, you know, I'm going to catch y'all on the next one. And I'm out.